Good morning, everybody. Boxing session today. So you can put your gloves on. We're going to be doing warm up with the gloves. No additional equipment on it, and your bag is needed. That's it. Our shadow box, and we are starting. Let's do this. Let's do it. So we're going to start with warm up. We're going to start with just like Jack, front and back, just light on your feet. Nothing intense. Hands are up at your chin. Jab forward and jab back. Yes. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Now we're going to start with big arm rotation forward. Right arm, right arm. As you're running front and back, you're just rotating your right, right arm. That's it. Now left arm, big rotation forward. Rotate, rotate. From that joint, so when you're running, I want to see a big circle here, okay? Big circle right there. So you're running forward, running back. There you go. Like that. Good. We're going to get those two arms going now. As you're still jogging forward, jogging back. Small little step. You see how tiny little steps I'm doing? That's it. We're going to warm up the chest. We're going to warm up the upper body. Now we're gonna go backwards both arms. So you go forward with your feet and backwards, but you constantly moving your arms backward. If this is too difficult, just stay in place and just get those shoulders pumped, okay? Keep on going, nice big rotation. Loosen up the upper body, loosen up the joints. Yes, a few more times like this. I'm going to admit, keep admitting everybody, keep on going. Good. And we go, good morning, baby. I'm going in and out as you're jogging. So look, crisscross your arms, open up your chest, crisscross the other direction and open up. So sometimes it's the arm, right arm up, sometimes it's the left arm up. So you keep on jogging, light jog, light on your feet, but keep your arms up. Just on that stretch, really stretch your chest, crisscross and open. Good, and still running front and back, like jog. So when you're gonna go forward, you're gonna hold your right arm up and stretch your tricep. So look, my arm is up, all the way back, put a little pressure with the opposite hand as you're jogging front and back. Then switch your arm, so look, hold, Jab, stretch, loosen up, bring your other arm, hold, put a little pressure on that elbow. You want to stretch your tricep and loose. And again, arm is up. Good. And time, reach down towards the floor. I like to stay here for a second, loosen up the shoulders, keep your legs straight, especially with the boxing. You're going to feel the loose. Loose part right here. You're going to feel that good stretch. That's what you want. So touch the floor. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Stretch your chest. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. Good lower back stretch. Hamstring stretch. Breathe out. And again, one more time. Now arms will go overhead. So reach towards the floor and up. And keep on going. And as you see right now, each time you go, right, you're really, your lower back is stretching. You feel you get it down a little bit deeper towards the floor than normal, right? Each time you're going, you're getting looser, you're getting better. That's what you want. Good. And let's hit the alternating toe touches. Look, across, stand up straight, and across and stand up straight. Now, your arms are wide. Shoulder to shoulder, it's a straight line. Deep breath in is here. Exhale is up here. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. Breathe out through the mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your lips. Right? Right across. Shoulder to shoulder. Nice strong line. Elongate through the spine. Good job. And bring your feet in. We're going to step forward. Hold that knee up. And hold for two, three seconds. Look, breathe out. One, two. Hold that balance. As you're stepping forward, Pull it, one, two. When you step back, still pull, one, two. That leg is pulled up 
towards the chest. So you can feel it. Stay tall. Try not to go down. Along it. Breathe out and step back. And again, breathe out and step back. Now we're going to switch to a quad stretch and you're going to be stepping forward. So look, quad stretch, but look, and knee forward, step forward. Quad stretch. Keep that knee slightly bent standing. Feel the stretch. Raise that knee up. Step forward. So you're doing a knee up. Again, it's not just a step as we're stepping. We're raising the same leg as you stretch knee up. Good. Just like that. Knee up. And as you're stepping back, you're doing the same thing. One more time through it. So quad, knee up. Let that leg swing in front of you. Just like that. Good. Now we're going to hold on to the bag. If you don't have a bag, hold on to the ball. Because when you stretch, when you loosen up the leg, just standing like this, you're not going to get a good balance. So hold on with your hand. Right leg is going. Let that leg swing in front of you. Just watch that lower back on that extension. If you can really go high naturally, go for it. But if you feel that tightness still in your hamstrings, just be gentle, okay? Keep that left leg closer to the wall, slightly bent. Good, and switch. Right arm on the wall. Left leg is gonna go. Just swinging gently in front of you, okay? Awesome job, good job. Now I want you to find a little elevated space. Something maybe like a stool or step if you can. My both feet are facing that stool. So pretend that there is a stool, a couch. David, you can be on the couch. Joseph, see what you have there. This can be higher than your knee level. A little higher, that's fine. But look, my both legs pointing the same direction. My back is straight. I'm going to reach towards my toes, hold for two, three seconds, and stand up. And again, keep your chest open. Don't go this way. Look, don't go that way. Try to fold yourself, elongating and extending your arms. Then flex your foot. Don't point. Okay, hold it and stand up. And again, breathe out, breathe out. All that is stretch. And again, fully extend your hips. And again, reach, 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 elongate. Good. One more time. Try to fold yourself on the elongation. So go around it here. Really extend. And now look, stand up. Don't go anywhere. Look what's happening to your foot. Turn that foot from this rot rotation facing the same way. You rotating out. So your left leg is out. Your right leg is on the step or the opposite. And look, hands behind our head. This is an awesome inner thigh stretch. Go down directly towards that leg, but make sure that your toes are up. Breathe out. Hip flexors. All the section that it's tight, those inner thighs, all the region around our hips are stretching. Try to keep your shoulder blades open. Gently, all the way down and all the way up. Good. And time. And let's switch the legs. So again, face is the same direction. Point those toes. Reach really long in. So you're hitting the calf, you're hitting the hamstring, your lower back, your arms, really everything gets that stretch. Just keep your chest out and open, okay? Fold it here. Long, not short, because sometimes we all cannot reach to go like this. But try this way forward so you're going to feel that stretch in your hamstring. But active. So we're holding for two, three seconds. And then we're standing up straight, right? And try now look, we're gonna rotate that leg out. I ended up facing this wall, so my toes are pointing that way. It's like creating a letter L. Bring your hands behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades, and now gently go down and come up. And again, reach down towards that leg and stand up. Don't pull, just gentle, okay? Down and up. This is such a good stretch. It hits all these sections. You feel on the right, you feel on the right. On the left, you feel good. Awesome. And time. Now listen up. Today, we're going to trick our brains. Are you ready? 
David, you're going to be punching as a righty. We're going to start from the top. Joseph and Joanna, you're punching as a lefty. So if normal stance is your left leg forward, right leg behind, you're going to switch. And David, you got to go the opposite. So Joanna, whoever is righty is coming with your right leg forward today and left leg slightly to the side. David, you're gonna do everything on the opposite sides today, okay? Including every single punch, not just the legs. So let's just start with a little shuffle, okay? So right leg forward, left leg is slightly to the side, hands are up. We're tricking the brain today, okay? Let's do this. It's gonna be pretty funny because you're gonna realize, well, this is, I've been punching and then out of nowhere, I have to do that left side and it's totally different. Yes. So first, we're going to start with the shuffle because we're going to get the shuffle going. You see, for us, it's right leg. For David, because he's lefty, he got the left side down for, for him, but now he needs to practice the opposite side, right? So, guys, right here, we're going to start with just the jab. Right arm for our lefty friends. So, David, what are you going to do? You're going to throw a left punch, right? We're all going to boom, right? So the jab is your right side now. Straight up. Good practice. Don't pivot here because this is just a jab straight from the chin. One more time. Now we're going to go over the cross. Now your left leg is going to pivot. David, it's your right, the opposite, right? Let's do it. Boom. Your left arm, your left leg. Because now we're practicing the left side. Punching as a lefty. Fun. Let's do it. Boom. Because when you really turn on that leg like this, we don't do the cross on this side, right? We always have to cross on the opposite. Watch those legs. One more time. Good, we're gonna go over three. Look, now three is on your right hook. How weird. There you go. Let's do it. Boom, hook, number three. Three, yes, and shuffle back. Get those numbers today. Let right leg forward, there you go. Boom, three, step back. So get a moment when you're turning, when you're pivoting, right? Because now you're gonna pivot on that side. Boom, one more. Now we're gonna go over the left hook, which is your number four today. Boom, left hook is today. Left hook is on our left, number four. Boom, four. Remember, remember, good. And again, one more. We're gonna go over upper, right, right upper first. Look, number five is on your right today. Boom, swivel. And again, right there, good job, good job. Squeeze, remember about obliques, right? Boom, one more. Keep that left, right leg forward. Now six is your final left arm. Boom. For David, it's the right arm. Go. Six is on your left today. So you did that right leg forward has to be constantly in front. This is fun. This is fun. Step back and forth. Left side. Dig in. Right. Dig. Turn. Hands are up. Good, and we're gonna go forward. Look, one, two, shuffle back. Still a part of the warm up. One, two, go. One, two, in and out. There you go. One, two. So, right and left, look, right, left. And again, again, right, left, shuffle back. Right, left, shuffle back. Now, three, four, show me three, four. As a lefty, three, four. Right hook, left hook. Go, go, go. Right hook, left hook. Yeah, shuffle in and out. And five and six. Five, six. So right upper, left upper. Five, six. As a lefty, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Go, go, go. Go, 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 five and six.
Good, and time. Hit those jumping jacks for me, hit those jacks. We're gonna start on the bag. Now, your option, if you don't have a bag, your option is to have like dumbbells in your hands, that's fine. Or you're just gonna be doing strong shuttle box. You're ready for this. All right, we're gonna start with just the jam. When I say switch, you're going to two. When I say switch, you're going to three and four. I'm gonna guide you through it. Start it, go strong, boom, jab. As a lefty, remember, today we are a lefty, not gonna switch. We are a lefty today, so your right leg is forward. Boom, jab, there you go. You're still shuffling, Joseph, shuffle. I wanna see a shuffle, okay? I wanna see a shuffle. Strong jab, there you go, in and out. Just mastering that movement, it feels a little bit different today. David, good job. Not turning, this is just a jab. Acceleration from the chin, boom. Straight on, that's it, no pivot. And switch, two, immediately, you're going into two, boom. Come on, come on, in and out. Remember, you have a space at home, you shuffling in all these different directions. You just need to listen the cues, that's it. You know that two is pivoting, you know that it's rotation, you know that you gotta come across the body, your hip, your toes, your shoulder, that's it. Turn, turn, turn. I wanna see good turns, guys. You know, that's where I'm ending up when my right hand is in my chin, my left arm is all the way around. There you go, I wanna see those good pivots there. So number two, number two, Snap it, snap it. Good, and switch. Number three, right hook, in and out. Number three, or maybe you're shuffling around the floor. So you're gonna be going everywhere. Boom, remember that that right hook has to turn, has to turn. And don't be just sideways and shuffle this way. Your right leg is slightly forward, your left leg is slightly to the side, you're facing the bag, right? You gotta turn, you gotta pivot on that right. Good, 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 good. Snap, switch, turn, 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 strong turn. Good, and switch, let go immediately. Shuffle in and out, shuffle in and out. Good, 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 good. Nice work. Good, we gotta still learn it. In and out, boom. Single, good job. Turn, turn. That's left hook number four. Good, and number five, right upper. Let's go. Right, dig into the bag. Breathe out. Good, good, good. Nice work, strong five, dig. Left hand stays at the chin. In and out, I wanna see that shuffle. You're practicing the shuffle, it might feel a little awkward. It might, because if you've been doing this for years and then out of nowhere you switching, it feels strange. But that's the whole idea, to get uncomfortable, right? And number six, go, in and out, in and out. Strong six. Good, good, hands are up. Nice work, nice work. Dig in, dig in, dig in. Good, in time we're going into, look, one, two, right knee. Obviously in the air, we're gonna have one, two, step, right knee, and again. One, two, step, right knee, and then back to the stance. Step, right knee, back to the stance, and then you can shuffle. Remember, shuffle is an option always. You can add that shuffle. With the bag, you're gonna be boom, right knee, and reset. Boom, right knee, and reset. Back to the stance on your right leg, stays forward. Yes, 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 shuffle in and out, leg on your feet. Good job, good job. One, two, always go back to the stance, otherwise it's gonna throw you off a little bit. One, two, step, knee, back to the stance, okay? 
Hands are up, hands are up. Good job, good job, light on your feet. Nice, nice, nice work, nice work. Don't keep the bag, just let it swing. Nice, 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 in and out. Good job, good job, guys. And we switch it on the fly. Look, we're going two, one, left knee. So that left knee comes immediately. Look, two, one, boom, left knee. Again, left, turn, right, left knee, and back to the stance. Again, two, one. Boom, left knee and back to the stance. Go, go, go. The same idea, but turn on that cross because your left is crossed. You got to turn. Boom, and shuffle in and out. There you go. Strong knee, strong knee. Powerful punches. Make that strong fist in your hands. Okay, strong fist. Good, David. Good, Johanna. Nice, nice work, Joseph. Go, go, go. I want to see those pivot guys turn. Pay attention to that pivot. How your body turns. Does it turn or you just go barely like this? Let it turn. Power with the hip. That's when the punch becomes powerful, right? When we actually turn it. When we actually turn it. Good, good, good. That right leg is forward. And they're up. Good, good, good. Few more, few more. And time, look, we're going back to the one, two, one, two. We have a step right in, right into the stance. And look from here, you're doing a sprawl, which is landing right above the ground with a push up back to the stance. So I don't want to sprawl and squat this with your legs square. I want right from here, boom, and back up like this. Okay. So you're doing one, two, knee, sprawl all the way explosive movement down, okay? Let's do it. One, two, switch step, right knee, sprawl, come up, back to the one, two. Quiet. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Go, go, go. Nice sprawl. Remember, this is from your right leg forward and left leg behind. Don't go into square to do that scroll. You're gonna have your hands right in here when you go down. When you go down, right there. Boom, come up, and go right into a punch. There you go, there you go. Push up all the way, like it's slow down, boom. It's like a one count motion. You're going down and come up. Go, 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 hands are up. Nice work. All the way, chest hitting the ground. And time, we're going back to the two one. You remember the two one? Cross, jab, left knee, but right from here, you wanna crawl up. So crawl up, push up, crawl back in, you right into your stance, okay? Again, two one, left knee, crawl up. Go, quick pace on that crawl up. Quick hands out, quick hands in, go. Crawl up with push up. Remember, when you're crawling out, you squatting. 
you're crawling one hand at a time all the way down. You can do crawl out, maybe a squat, okay? Some people cannot get the crawl out yet, but just gonna do squat. But then also try that crawl out. It might look awful and scary and hard, but you know what? Nothing better than just testing it and seeing if you can actually crawl your hands out, crawl your hands back in, and you're gonna be surprised that you can do it. Right? We gotta test it. We gotta do it. Avoiding is not gonna get us anyway, right? It's gonna only make us feel bad. So you just gotta go for it. Just gotta go for it. Oh, let's see those good crowds, guys, those good geese. Nice work. Nice work, hands are up, hands are up, always hit your chin. Good, and time, look, just to get you out of that right leg forward, we're just doing a regular fitness shuffle. That's it. So get even on your legs, that's it, in and out, side shuffle, side to side. That's it. Now front and back, just sideways. Get the legs even. Work on them right now. Good job. Good, and time, we're going right into three and four. So our three is on the right, our four is on our left, right? Three, four, and now we're gonna do a right kick. So if you have a bag, boom, right kick, or you can do a little switch step, step back. Again, three, four, right kick. Now you don't, you can't have a bag, you don't have a bag, do a front kick, because those side kicks, you don't have a, a, an end, a finish, right? So do a front kick with that, you don't have a bag. So again, right leg forward, three, four, you can do a switch step, which is a front step, then a kick, Back to the stance. Again, three, four, step forward, kick, back to the stance. Or you can do a jump. Three, four, boom. That's a higher intensity. Three, four, step, kick. The same with Joseph. He's on the back. Three, four, you can do step, kick it, back to the stance. Always on the switch step, you're going to have like more range of motion versus being just like this, trying to kick it. Right? So work on that kick. Work, work on that kick. That kick forward with that switch step. Remember about the kicks. How are we kicking? We're kicking really with strong intensity. Think about your abs. Don't just swing that leg. If you actually intentionally kick it, your abs will be on fire later. As we're doing knees, we're doing kicks. So you're gonna feel that, okay? Keep on going, hands are up, don't drop your hands. That's important, hands are up. Three, four, switch step and kick. Good job, good job. A few more, you can always add that shuffle if you are out of breath and you need to ease that breathing, just get a little shuffle going. Good, and time we're going. Four, three, now we have closed, we are close to the back. Left kick, let's do this. Four, three, both hands are turning. Kick, now you guys have no back, right? So what are you gonna do? Four, three, boom, front kick. Now I'm digging my abs so strong on that left with that kick. Again, left hook, right hook, kick it, and back to the stance. If the kick, obviously this group is good, but people that are replying messages later, those sessions, if the kick is too hard for you, you feel like your lower back is hurting, don't raise that leg that high. Just try to swing it just in front of you, or maybe raise that knee, it's okay. You're gonna get there eventually, you will. Practice, but slower steps, okay? So again, four, Three, boom, kick, abs tight. Four, three, 
And it, look guys, how I'm shifting that weight. You see how I'm starting turn? My body's turned, my elbow is bent. Boom, I'm ended right here. I have a good balance going. Kick it. You feel when you are out of balance. You know it. So get that stagger stance going. Closer the feet go in line, less balance. In boxing, you need to be like Diana. Okay? But again, everybody has their own style, but the diagonal is, is the way. So we're not walking, we're not crisscrossing the feet, we're not tangling them. Right leg forward, lead. Left leg will lead towards the back. Yes, good job. Good job, nice work. And time, we're going into three, four. Right kick, back to squat thrust. Three, four, we have that kick. Squat thrust, that sprawl, boom, push up all the way right into the stance, okay? I showed you so, you going as fast as you can. You guys don't have a bag, you kicking forward like you did before, right? So we're going three, four, come on. You can step forward on that kick. Boom, come up, right into the stance. Like I want you to go so uncomfortable right now, push yourself. This group is an advanced group right here. So you guys gotta blast it through it, all up, like strong, up side, good side. Like think about your body, like the machine working for you. Like good, it got it down, you lost the weight, you feel amazing, like right? all of you here. Like David, you lost so much weight. John, you, you lost such a good amount of weight too. And Tone and Joseph, you have changed so much. This is awesome, guys. So you know the difference, how your body can work for you right now, right? How much you can push, it's amazing. So keep on going. Good job, good job. We're going on that three and four. Take that leg. Remember, three, four, you can just switch that kick. Boom, sprawl. Now, some of you will be just maybe walking this crawl. So you're gonna place your hands. You can even have hands on the step. I could literally place my hands here and walk my feet out. Look, you see, this is less intensity, but at least you're gonna do the exercise because if you're gonna be like, oh, I can't do it, at least you're a little higher. You place your hands, you walk your feet, you walk them back in halfway, but done it all in a way. So you learn the first step with that workout, with that motion. Or maybe you're gonna be here and you're gonna be fine stepping in. So just try, just try to go through all of it. You, this group might be working out, you might be replaying this session right now and you might be out of breath and you feel dizzy and tired. Just take a moment, take a sip of water, loosen up and try to go again. And time, we're going back to our four, three. You remember four, three? Four, three, we have that left kick. You guys do the front kick. And what are we doing with four, three? Crawl out, go, crawl out. Right stay close to the back. Right into a crawl up, push up, crawl back in. You are at this stance right here. Four, three, kick it, crawling out. Boom, push up, crawl back in. Stand up straight, hands are up. So you don't have a bag, right leg is forward, you're punching as a left knee. Boom, boom, kick right here. Come up, hands are up. Yes. Good job. Remember that right leg is forward and switch with me today. You are the lefty all the way through. David, you are righty all the way through today. <laughs> go, 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 go. Power with your hips, abs, tight, good kicks, especially in the air. Pivot, guys, you gotta rotate, okay? Don't stay stiff, just throwing the punches on your arms. Turn, follow through, follow through, always. Pivot. 
Pivot. All right, not just arms. What this remind you of? <laughs> Is that like a whole cartoon? I should have my big green gloves. <laughs> you gotta turn, you gotta pivot. And kick it, and crawl out, and crawl back in, and you're right back into the stance. Good, and time back to our shuffle, but look, I am so nice. And at the end of the shuffle, you are going to stretch. Look how awesome that is. You, put it. you, you got some benefit going on today. Look, boom, shuffle. Stretch, reach down, stand up, and a shuffle, and stretch again, all right? Extend those hips, reach down towards the ground, open up your chest. Yes, good, 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 take your time. We're just trying to stay even here, right? Yes. Awesome job. A few more, a few more like this. And time. If you need a sip of water, sip of water. If not, we're going to continue. We're going into five, six. Switch that knee. Again, five and six. Five is your right. Five, six. Switch that boom, knee. And again, shuffle is an option. You can shuffle in and out. You can do a shuffle five, six, six, step in. You guys have no bag. You might have a light dumbbells in your hands, right? So you're going to go forward, five, six, switch step, right knee. And again, right knee here, boom, big. Hands are up. And you can do a shuffle. You can move around. You can move around. Five, six, switch step, knee, back to the stance. Good. Think about that knee on that switch step. I feel it. The moment that I step back and bring that knee up, it's all tension right there. Hands are up. Don't drop your hands. Hands are up. Five, six. Keep your elbows close too. Five, six. Turn. Five, six. Right? Not from here. We're not scooping the air. We're not scooping here. So don't go like this, in, right? Good, good. Come on, Joseph, come on. As I told you, if you start feeling arms oh, slowing down, get that shuffle going, get that shuffle going, a little shuffle, moving around the bed. And time, we're gonna start with the opposite now. Six and five. Six is your left, five is your right, holding the bag, boom, left knee. In the, on the floor, no bag, six, five, knee, back to the stance, but you can still shuffle, right? More shuffle, more steps. You're gonna burn more calories. So body weight, no bag, and you're gonna burn so many calories because you are intentional about it and like really focus on those knees, okay? Boom. And shuffle, right there. Like, if I'm punching the air, if the air is my opponent, I'm gonna give it all. Because air is like, you can't even, you have no resistance here. You gotta create that resistance for yourself, right? But as long as you intentionally you're going all out, you're gonna burn, your, your clothes will be sweaty. Awesome workout, guys. Peak freaks in the house of peak family. Like it, keep on going. Go, 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 go. Right leg forward, always remember, don't get your feet switched. Hands are up. Yes, yes, yes. Few more, few more. And time. 
right now. We got an egg and squat for this another five, six. You know it. Five and six, switch step, boom, me right there with that scroll. Now, squat thrust and push up is different than when you're doing a one count motion. Look, when you're hitting and exploding, it's different than just going squat thrust and then a push up. So I am challenging you to get yourself bam down and bam up. That's what I want. Go. Five and six. Five and six. Switch step. Knee. Hit the ground. Hit it. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. We're good on time. We're good on time. Try not to wrong your backs. Squat a little lower. Keep your hands closer. Feet a little wider. And remember, option is always to use some step or some support. That's fine. If you just starting and for whatever reason, these hips, whatever it is, you can't do it. There's always a way, right? There's always a way. But when you're keeping yourself, scooping yourself back up, immediately hands are up. Think that the air will punch you. You got to get prepared. You gotta get the attack mode on, because who knows what's coming around. Good, and time, six, five, six, five. Left knee, no switch step, right into that crawl out and push up, go. We're doing a lot of reps today on those. Fun, 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 hit it. Now on the crawl out, guys, remember, feet are wider than your shoulder blades. When you're crawling yourself out, you can't keep your feet close. It's going to feel weird on your hips because you're crawling yourself all the way out. You need to have room for your hands, right? So take your hands all the way out and all the way back in. Now, this bothers your hands. Go oh, like this. I've done it myself in the crawl out. Totally like this. Holding my hands just like this. But you have gloves, so you have a cushioning. You have a support. So that's why I always say, when you guys punching, keep the gloves on, or even if you don't have a bag, have the gloves, because that's a support. That's a cushioning, right? Go, go, go. Besides, it's so different. I have no gloves today, and I'm just going like this. So different than having gloves. You get the extra power, right? Because it's the same thing like you would try to be a Superman. That's awesome. But if you put that custom on, you get the extra power in you, right? Unless you have it in your head already, I love it. Go, go, go. There you go, twist, swivel, boom, boom, knee, right into that crawl out. Right into that crawl out. Good job, good job. Few more, few more. We almost at the end. Yes, yes, yes. I hope we will go. Deal with it. Good and time back to the shuffle. So shuffling, regular shuffle. We're gonna stretch the class this time and shuffle. Bring your knees up for a second. Just loosen up. That's our break right here. Active break. Active recovery. Okay? A little shuffle. Stay even. Knee up. Stretch your lower back. Quad stretch from doing the squat thrust and the crawl out. Right? There you go. Right there. Good. And time. We're starting with one, two, three. Right leg is forward. One, two, three. We're gonna go left knee, left kick. Ready? One, two, three. Left knee, left kick. So on the floor, boom, boom, boom. Left knee, left kick, back to the stance. I'm 
not switching anything. It's just that left leg is kicking forward. But it's a left knee, left kick. All right, let's do it. One, right. Two, left. Three, right. Knee, left. Kick, left. I think it's broken down pretty well, right? One, two, three. But look, no, no turn. Turn. Then I'm shifting. Turn. Then it's a knee. Balance. Kick. Balance. That's how you gotta. When you turn on those twos, you. I have a balance. I'm holding on my right leg. Then when I'm shifting that weight. Boom, then my balance is on the opposite. It's on the left when the right is turned. I always catch the balance, and that's what you need to do. And remember about intention in your punches. All right, don't hyperextend your elbow. Don't go like this. You controlling it by squeezing the arms. So boom, boom, boom. I'm engaging each time because I'm making a fist. If you make a strong fist, your bicep, your tricep, your shoulders, all this part is working, okay? But if you just go like this, that's literally a quarter of the possible calories you can burn. So you gotta go intense, intention, right? Oh, I'm right. I see a sweat going on. I think I'm right. David's been punching the air. Joanna been punching the air. She's out of breath. There you go, Joseph. Hit that bag. Nice. Good. All right, and time, we're going to go three, one, two, no, three to one, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Ready? We did, we did one, two, and three, we're going to go three, two, one, we're going to switch that. Right knee, right kick. Again, right leg forward. Three, right, two, left, one. Switch step, knee, kick. Forward, no, no punching back. We have three, two, one. Switch step, knee, boom, kick. Opposite side. Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Go, go, go. We gotta hit that. Gotta hit it. Hit your numbers. Shuffle a little bit. Move around. Pivot. 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 Good. Good job. Good job. So step knee, nice. You can remember the option is always to do a little jump here, okay? You can step or you can just quick step, boom, boom. Each time you jump, it's faster. It's a higher intensity. So you can always jump. Boom, boom, right? So if this was maybe this is difficult for you, try it in a way like coordination. And thinking, oh, I gotta do a switch step, I gotta do a jump, not just a step, right? Good, good, good. We gotta practice that one. Nice work, nice kicks, nice kicks, good job. Go ahead and time. You know what's coming. Loosen up. 
<clears throat> One, two, three is coming with the squat thrust. One, two, three. We have a left knee, left kick, hit the squat thrust, put that push up, we'll just crawl immediately. One time and go back right into the puncher. Go, I wanna see it. It's one, two, three, left knee, left kick, scroll, boom, up, and send it. And my step slow, one, two, three, knee, kick. Maybe you have a stool. Maybe you need to walk out, boom, boom, right here. But remember, squatting. Don't just go like this. If you're going like this on the elevated and you bring your feet, look so much that endanger your lower back, right? Good job, good job on those push ups, explosive. Go a little faster, like push yourself. Push till you get that state of hopping and popping and like seeing the stops. Go, you guys have the potential right here. Go, go, get uncomfortable. Do it, there you go. You hit the ground, boom, all the way down. And slow down, come on. Nice, awesome work. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Good job, good job. And time, loosen up, loosen up because we get to start the other side, that three, two, one, right? And the crawl out, and three, two, one. We're gonna have switch step for that knee and the kick right from there. You're doing a crawl out all the way out to a high plank position, crawl back in with that push up, right? And go, so again, three, two, one, switch step. Me, we did that one. Kick right into the stance. Crawl yourself out. Crawl up, wide feet. Go, go, go with that push up. Look, you're gonna get that momentum when you're crawling. When you're crawling out, you're somewhere here. Boom, push. You gotta breathe out on that push. It's gonna get you a little momentum. Trust me on this one. You gotta catch a breath and push with that push-up away from that floor, it's gonna be much easier. Because if you're catching the, the air and not the right time, it feels a little weird. But the breathing part is so important in the exercise. You constantly have to catch, and more you do these exercises, you realize, whoa, I now I know I am a little better. I am flawless, I actually can, uh, hold the, not even hold the breath, but extend the breathing part, taking it in a little bit longer, pushing it slower, and I am in more control because I am in tune with my body. I know that you realize, or maybe never thought about this, but that's how it is. So finding this out right now, get that momentum, push it away from the floor. You're gonna be, oh, I'm flying, this is good. I can do it better now. It's tough timing, God, timing with everything. Timing is so important. Keep on going, and I'm gonna talk to you about timing in a, for a second. <clears throat> timing with the workouts, timing with eating before the workouts, right? Always like two hours before the workout should not be eating, right? An hour before, you should get in your pre-workout and start working on it. I saw Joseph, keep on going, Joseph, while he's stopping. I'm going, you guys are hitting that ground. I saw Joseph doing the Herbalife 24, I hope you like it. This stuff is good when you're actually mixing in a blender. Oh man, it's so good. I can send you the link, get it. It's amazing, it has all the glutamine, all the components of recovery, immediately after workout. But yesterday I didn't time it right for the first time in a long time. Keep on going, people, people, will keep on going, people, freaks. And I did not even do my pre-workout shape. My only thing was my tea. 
because I timed it a little bit off. <clears throat> and I'm always so good with this. But yesterday, I got a regular shake too long, an hour before, and then I realized, wait a second, my session is at this time, not at this time. So timing is so important. And time, loosen up. We're going into three, four, three. Three, four, three. Left knee, left kick. Go. Three, four, three. Three, four, three. Left knee, left kick. Intention, kicking the air or the back, right? Remember, this is a perfect three, four, three. Hooks are such a good setup to turn. Stable, stable. Stable. I love that because it let me fly. Boom, boom, boom. You see, it's toe my right leg, toe my left leg, toe my right leg. And that's how you got to do it, okay? I want to see those. Hold for a second. Go a little bit slower for a second. See how that body is landing. Landing. Yes, it takes practice. But you got to think about this because if, you, if you're not paying attention, you will be doing the same kind of mistakes, right? So we've got to improve our boxing technique. <clears throat> I've been boxing for like 14 years. And my first two years, I punched with my arms. And I'm like, I don't know. This is painful. Because I couldn't get that rhythm going. So more of the body is going to get involved. More of the flow you're going to have. Better is going to be. All right, so let it fly, let it fly, let it turn. Yes, yes, good job, good job. Remember about those kicks and those knees, right? Squeezing, it's like a standing crunch. That's what it is, standing crunch. Breathe out, tight. And time to do it one more. We're gonna go four, three, four, switch step, knee, kick. But because we gotta finish all out, I need one squat thrust and one crawl up. So let's do it. Four, three, four, switch step, knee, hit, scroll right here, boom, stand up, crawl up, all the way up, push up, push, stand up straight. Got it? Let's do it. This is your final right here. This is your finish line. Give it all. Give it all. All out. All out. All out. Good work. Remember, we are four on our left. We are three on our right. We are four on our left. We're going to do a switch step. Knee. Kick. Back to the stance. Right into that squat thrust. Sprawl, crawl out. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Nice work. Thirty seconds to go. Let's do it. Thirty seconds. All out now. This is it. Nice, nice, nice. So don't slow down on me. Don't, don't slow down. Go fast. As fast as you, as faster than you normally you would do it in that session. Faster than you did it throughout the session. This is like a finish line. You see in front of you. You're there, you're hopping and popping, but you're still going. Ten, keep going. Nine, eight, seven. I want to see movement. Six, five, four, three, two. One, and we're stopping on zero. Good job. Take a moment. 
Take a moment, take a breather, deep breath in, through your nose, exhale through the lips. We gotta stretch. We have to stretch. Let's do this together. You might take a few minutes, not this group, but you, you guys, your heart rate will go down fast because you condition. People that are just starting, you might take a moment. Otherwise, if you go down, you're going to get a bit dizzy, okay? Uh, we are fine. Take a, take a moment, take a deep breath in, and let's go down on the floor. We're going to do a decompression, a lot of spinal friction, so we got to get this going. Let's go. Hands close towards your side. Take a deep breath in. Push. Now, here, no engagement of the glutes, nothing. Just let the hips sink down, okay? You can look up at the sky. And again, take a deep breath in. Now, this is too much. Maybe you want to start here. That's it. Some people can only do it here. I did it here for like two years when, they, when I had my hernia surgery. For two years, I could not lift myself up. I felt that my stomach grew right. Now it's going. And go down, all the way down. Look, down. Because you know what? You can stretch all these things, stretches in, in, in your body. So you can actually do that. Skin is amazing. It's such a stretching flexibility. So. Good. And bring your left leg forward. Look, nice big left forward. Push your hips forward. Just like that. And switch. Other leg. Push your hips forward. We're going to stretch the hip flexors right here. Nice big step forward. Right there. Good. We're going to slowly come up. And we're going to crisscross our feet right here. And I want you to just loosen up your upper body, loose all the way down. You're gonna feel it on the back leg. And slowly roll up and switch. Other leg across, in front, and loose right here. And slowly come up. Good job. Unmute yourself. How are we doing? Great, thank you. Awesome. Joanna, how are you doing? Oh, wow, so much sweat going on. Nice work, <laughs> nice work guys. <laughs> Good job. I know David probably had to go, so I understand. Thank you so much for joining. And any questions? No, we're doing awesome. Thank All you. right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Don't forget that no excuses, ladies, on Facebook. You can tell your wife, your spouse about it. Who knows who wants to join that group and learn something, right? So it's right. on Facebook. It's public. Invite them. It's for ladies who wants to succeed in life and, and, and stay fit and healthy. So let's do this. Awesome job. Have an amazing day. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. You too.